All right, this week I am PI is from Pocket. 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 Say, they pocket. make a pocket. pocket. No, it's there's a pocket meter a pocket. because well, I guess you could poke things with it, it's but pocket. it's it fits in your pocket. Yeah. Um, so I saw this on digikey.com slash new and I always love cute, adorable things. I'm a sucker for things that fit into your pocket. Uh, so they make a multimeter. Um, they did I think a, a crowdfunding campaign, but now they're I think this is the second or third generation of product. Um, this is the pocket meter. Uh, and it's like a keychain uh, shaped sized multimeter and it's got um and, you know their, their thing that I think is adorable is the um, the leads come out like you know I remember nice. we used to have like Ethernet cords or whatever that or like little phone cords that would come on a one of these spools and you could uh, pull the um, the cables out so it does that and so it's nice as you don't have that like kind of wound up uh, bundle of cables um, it actually does kind of like all slip into um, the body of this little uh, you know large um, uh, keychain size thing. Actually, let's go to the overhead now because I'll show I'll show that. I will say, by the way, I, I took this apart because I wanted to see what chip was used in it. So um, th this doesn't work quite as well anymore, the, <laughs> the, the thing. But believe me, it, it normally works quite well. I just like the spring. I, I kind of, like a little metal piece came out. Most and then, of you are not going to take these apart like we do. Yeah, I took it apart. Um, so there's a, a coin battery here, a CR2030, which is replaceable. What chip was in it, do you know? Uh, it's the e, um, EFM, it's a Scilabs EFM 32BF3, I think. Okay. It's a Bluetooth 32-bit um, uh, Cortex from Scilabs. Um, but these are the little probes, and so you can even, you know, you grab them and you can probe things. It also does come with um, uh, some uh, nice uh, grabby micro-grabbers. Uh, so this would, let's see, this I think plugs into here quite nicely and so now you can have a yeah kind of a micro grabber but this is optional it you know comes in a, in a case also if you like but um let's see if this works yeah. well you know i remember when you showed this to me before i was like oh is there like a screen and you said there's an app so this yeah. is basically like a little uh it's almost like an air tag <laughs> yeah. apple air tag but it's a multimeter yeah and if you don't uh, and if you don't break the spring when you press the button um it zips back uh, quite nicely so I, you know, I i work a little bit but anyways i'll, sh I'll show demo in a moment okay. uh, anyway so let's go back to the uh the computer um this is what it looks like so now you see you pull the leads out um and it's battery powered and it doesn't have a screen because you're supposed to use your phone so you download for your phone or your tablet there's android or ios apps and it actually uh paired very nicely uh, you don't have to do anything special you just it just kind of is advertising and you can uh, pair to it. Um, give you little tips and hints on how to use it. And then um, you go straight into the modes. And so I note that because it's um, portrait mode, the top and bottom, it's two different screenshots. So at the top, you can see um, there's a multimeter, oscilloscope and logger mode. And then at the bottom is the oscilloscope mode where you, you type it to acquire data. So the multimeter mode, I will say is um, instantaneous. The oscilloscope mode is not, and I'll show that in a little bit. Um, two things is that you're like, well, okay, so there's a, a non-rechargeable coin cell battery. Well, how do you know when the battery's about to die? It'll actually warn you. It'll say battery low um, when you open up the app if the battery is getting low. How long does it last on a battery? I don't know, you know, probably a couple dozen hours. Um, there's no on off switch that I can note. I think it actually, you know, auto offs, I guess, when it doesn't get um, data or from the, uh, I, the app on your phone or tablet. Um, I didn't notice either way, uh, you know, with like any, any way to turn it off. I just quit the app and it seemed to not work. And then when I opened the app again, it, it worked again. So it's, it's magical. That said, the Scilabs EFM series is pretty low power. Um, second, there is a multiple modes you can see on the side or, you know, resistance and continuity and voltage and all that good stuff. Um, and you might be also wondering, well, like, you know, current mode is, is kind of weird. It does come with a fuse. There's a warning when you go into current mode. So you, know, you have to kind of double, you have to click and then click another thing because with current mode, it's very easy to blow the internal fuse. There's a two amp fuse inside. Um, so I like that they gave you a warning. I like that they tell you when the battery's low. Um, next step, okay, multimeter like plain mode. So this is kind of what it's most useful for. Um, it can do temperature, resistance, uh, AC current, DC current. I think the limit is, I think, 60 volts DC. And then for AC, I think it's like 40 volts or so. Um, there's diode check, there's continuity, and the beep comes from your phone, of course, and there's no speaker in the device. Um, you know, for, for doing basic voltage measurements, it's instantaneous, right, which is, which is really nice uh, for continuity check or resistance check. You get instantaneous 
uh, feedback. So it's really, it's really good for that purpose. So maybe I'll try to do a live demo. Um, so the thing that you know I'm always interested in is, is okay, the, it says it's an oscilloscope. So is it an oscilloscope? I, yes, it, technically it is. Um, I will warn that it is not a live streaming oscilloscope, right? So it's more kind of like a data logger that can like trigger and then send chunks of data to your phone. So what you have to do is you have to press that red thing and it will sample data for you and then transmit it all back and then you can look at it and kind of zoom in and out. It doesn't do what you would normally, you know, what normal people think of as an oscilloscope where it's kind of like continuous trigger mode. I, you know, I, I still think it's very useful. I just want people to know that, you know, you can do analog, you can do, you know, digital, and um, this is me uh, sampling an audio signal. It's perfectly useful, but it is not instant trigger, rolling trigger. It's it's data capture. So maybe I, I'll go quickly to the uh, yeah, let's overhead, do the and then we'll show where it's at on demo. the DigiKey site. Okay, let's, let's try this live demo. The um, it's a little risky. The Ionic PI segment is brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Okay, this is where so we got from. is it in focus? No. Nope. Might want to. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Know. Okay, so it says you know connect to the device and it blinks blue, um, and then you go into this mode. So for example, continuity mode. That's an easy one to test. So you can remove the leads, and then again, it doesn't normally do that, but I broke it. Um, and then oh, hold on, let me make this loud. Oh wait, sorry, that's diode so very okay, annoying um, but let's say I want to do uh, temperature so temperature temperature reading and then let's do voltage um, and then I will uh, I think this is on. handy just to keep in your toolbox or your bag uh, if you have a phone yeah because you never know when you're gonna need it is a, it is a true pocket meter you know which is which is unique so let's measure this battery probes into here. Can I get my probes into there? There you go. So this battery is uh, 3.66 volts, so that's kind of nice. Um, I can measure. Another nice thing is because it's battery powered, you know, it's a floating voltage. Okay, let's see, this is Three volts, you know, measuring the voltage on this LED, LCD. So all that stuff uh, is, is pretty good. And then um, if you go to the oscilloscope mode, you know, if you capture data, you know, I'm not going to see anything because I, I don't have it connected. Oh, maybe I can maybe I'll connect it together and then I'll get ground data. Okay. So, yeah, you acquire data and then it displays it. Actually, let me, maybe you can tap the... Um, when do you want to tap? Can you tap the uh, the red button? Sorry. The red button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap it again. Hold on. Yeah, this is hard to do two things at once. All right, try now. That's oh, weird. Oh, you know what? I think I have to. Oh, there yeah. you go. All right, hold on. Let's try it now. Yeah, so you can yeah. see there, there's some signal here. Oh, yeah. That I'm getting. So, um... I don't know what it is exactly, but it's like some, some power supply signal. So, you know, you're, you're not going to get constant streaming data. I, I think eventually it would be nice if that was something that was added. Um, I know it's tough to do, but maybe with BLE5 and maybe if it's like pre-triggering and there's enough RAM on the device, I, I think that that's the only thing that didn't make it like, oh, my God, this is the most amazing ever. Um, but it's still very useful. Um, and it, it, it does fit in your pocket, it does fit in your purse, and it does fit on your keychain. So for that, 100 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. And it's in stock at DigiKey. Available in stock. You can get it on DigiKey. There's a short URL on the screen. Yeah, like I'm and definitely going to keep the, this, for sure. Oh, yeah. And then there is the uh, part number that you can search. And we have a little bit of a, a short video from yes. them. And we're going to uh, play it, and we'll uh, get to new products right after this. Okay. Electronics are an integral part of our everyday lives. Now, there is finally a powerful measurement device that you can have with you, anytime, anywhere. Pocket Meter is the world's smallest wireless multimeter, oscilloscope, and logger. With retractable leads and Bluetooth connectivity to your smart device, Pocket Meter is the ideal device for measuring on the go. 
Pocket Meter is compact enough to store anywhere, so it is there for you at a moment's notice. It harnesses the power of your mobile device and displays accurate waveforms and data that can be saved and exported. Pocket Meter can be used by anyone, electricians, hobbyists and engineers. Connect up to four Pocket devices to the Pocket app so you can take multiple readings simultaneously. Pocket Meter is also ideal for students. The ability to have a multimeter, oscilloscope and logger all in the one device means that you can easily take measurements at school, university and from home. Pocket Meter. Measurement unleashed. And that is this week's Ion MPI. Yay! Hi, Ion MPI. That's a big review.